Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the GrowStar brand. This is their LED grow light, the reflector series. This is the model S600 you see here. Comes with a nice instruction manual that goes over the heights to put your plants for the varying growing stages and the wavelengths and describes how this operates. Now this is equivalent to 600 watts, yet it only uses 140 watts. We're going to measure that. And that's because a normal halogen bulb or mercury bulb will consume 600 watts to get this much lumens. So because LEDs are so efficient, this only draws 140 watts. So why is that important to you as a consumer? Because your electric bill is going to be smaller. And the amount of time you use this, you can extend that uh, use time because it takes less energy. Now this has an optimum full spectrum using these arrays of Cobb LEDs and it goes from 380 nanometers to 780 nanometers. It's unique because it has four 3000K high power Cree Cobbs that are built in here. Now a Cobb is a chip on circuit board essentially and what that means is the integrated circuit is part of the chip and that cooling is done very successfully through the back of the printed circuit board. So that means that these are going to cool properly and you can see there's a lot of different ones here. Some are some of the camera are going to pick up and some of the cameras not but it's going to be a balance of uh, full spectrum from the 380 nanometers to 780 nanometers. So um, these Cobb outputs have a very high power output and the power output is the stands for parabolic aluminized reflector and that's the aluminized reflector you see there. So that concentrates the output of these so that the bulk of the light is coming outward and not going into the die or the device itself. So I mentioned it only uses 140 watts, we're going to measure that, but it's equivalent of 600 watts of an HPS or high pressure sodium bulb. It's made out of aircraft grade aluminum, you can see it's black and it has cooling fans on there we're going to show. This company was founded in 2010 GrowStar and it's essentially an LED manufacturing company for nine years. So that's all they do is they manufacture LED products and LED grow lights. Now included with this kit it has the normal um, holders on the back of this but also includes one of these nice adjustable height where you push the button in right there and it pulls it up and down and that allows you to pull the whole light up and down uh, very easily for the different stages of growth. I think all these lights should have this so it's very nice that it has it. Now let's look here on the front of it you can see it has the company name right there. You can see it right there Growth Star. Let's take a look at the back right here. Also notice that it has cooling ventilation all the way around the sides even on corners right here you can see that right there. So looking at the back you can see it has two computer fans and it has a daisy chain port right there and a master power switch. Then it has the model number, the equivalent watts and so forth and other information about it. It also includes the power cord that you're going to need to power this up. So we're going to power this and we're going to take a look at what it looks like. We're going to measure a few parameters of it. Then we're going to test it to grow some seedlings. So I have the unit powered up and the first thing I'm going to show is I've got a watt meter right here and I have it on watts and you can see it's only drawing 122 watts but yet it's producing that 600 watts of light energy. So that shows that it's very efficient. So I have a lux meter with a calibrated sensor that is right there and it is, I measured one foot away from the light just to get a reference. And let's take a look at the uh, Lux. I'm getting 7820 Lux at one foot away. Now they don't usually give Lux on grow lights, but I can just tell you from experience, that's very bright. 7800 Lux at one foot away is very bright. So it just shows you that this is truly 600 watts equivalent of energy I feel that's coming out of this light. So I have the unit running for about a half hour 
and I'm measuring the temperature. I can feel the air coming out of the top, cooling it off. Let's take a look at the front LEDs right here. You can see it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit, 89, 92, 88, 84. Now let's take a look what it is on the back. On the back at 77, the air coming out at 76, and the air on the top right here is showing, let's take a flashlight here again, the air coming out is coming out at 84 degrees. So what that's telling me is that the mechanism to remove the heat is working. So you have a combination, some of the heat comes out forward, the bulk of the heat is coming out of these vents. I could feel the warm air. So these fans are doing their job. They're extracting the heat from those cob dyes. And that's going to allow this thing to have the lifespan that you're talking about. That's what's great about these LED lights. They just last a very long time. Now to attach, they included mounting wires. They have one of these metal pieces that open and close and you put that on into each piece like that and then of course four of them will allow you to lift this thing up vertically then you have the main one of these right here and there's where you could hook up the adjustable piece right here to that and then that allows you to hang your light from here and then adjust the height up and down as you're growing. So, what's my overall impression about the Growstar, the S-Series, the uh, Model S600 Grow Light? I like this product. I like the cooling fans on here, and they're very quiet, and you can feel them pulling the heat away as I demonstrated, and this grew seedlings just beautifully. This is a nice product, very high quality, and I think you're going to like it also, and you're going to be able to grow whatever you want to grow. I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.